I need you to remember just three things. You're going to ace the exam. Just three things. So I need you to pick your pen and paper and write some things down. We are going to learn normal values. We are going to learn the function and controlling organ of these values. And then we are going to interpret the results in three simple steps, okay? And all you are going to do is arrows, up, down, up, down. That's all. And acid-base balance is in the bag. So the three labs I want you to watch out for are pH, CO2, and HCO3. Let's make acid-base balance ridiculously simple today, okay? Now, for the pH, I need you to write this number, 7.35 to 7.45, simple. I read my question stem and the pH is less than 7.35, the patient is acidotic. If the pH is more than 7.45, the patient is alkalotic. Keep it simple. MCQ1 made ridiculously simple. No, that means if CO2 is high, it's as, like you, you, you're dealing with acidosis. Remember that CO2 is regulated by the lungs or respiratory. So if you are blowing off CO2, that means you are reducing the acid in the lungs. So if somebody is breathing faster and deeper, they are going to blow off more CO2 and therefore they decrease the acid in the body. If they are not breathing well, that means that they are building up CO2 in the body. Therefore, they are increasing acid in the body, right? So if the person is breathing faster, the person is blowing off the acid. If the person is breathing shallow or not breathing well, they are building up acid in the body. So faster breathing reduces CO2 in the lungs. Slow breathing builds up co2 in the lungs okay so now now let's talk about hco3 remember i told you you just need three things hco3 you just need three things ph which is 7.35 7.45 co2 which is 35 to 45 and then hco3 that is where the the number changes a bit that is 22 to 26 22 to 26 okay. the first parameter i want you to look at is arrows you just need arrows so in the exam just think about arrows top down that's all the first thing you want to look at in every acid base question is the ph always remember that ph is boss now when you've gotten your ph right for example i tell you in the question the patient's ph is 7.25 that means the patient is acidotic the patient's ph is 7.15 that means the patient is acidotic the patient's ph is 7.28 that means the patient is acidotic what if i say the patient's ph is 7.60 that means that the patient is alkalotic, right? So remember, pH is boss. pH is the one who dictates everything.